Study Arata. How long do you need to acquire fluency in a foreign language? Well, this is a very important question as it can be decisive in your decision to study that language or not. Perhaps you have already visited some foreign language institute in your neighborhood and you asked how long will it take for you to be fluent? And you may have been very frustrated to be told that you will need five years to reach an advanced level and perhaps 10 years to complete all the school training until you reach fluency. Now, today we're going to make some important clarifications about the time you need in order to be fluent in your desired target language. How long do you need to become fluent in a foreign language? First, it is important to make a useful definition of what fluency means. Because if you think of fluency on the terms of the language school, you will really need more than 10 years if you have classes twice a week in order to be able to achieve fluency. That is to communicate perfectly as if you were a native speaker in that language. In the European model, this is called the C2 level, which indicates mastery or proficiency. And the C2 level means that you can easily understand practically everything heard or read. You can summarize information from different spoken and written sources reconstructing arguments in a coherent presentation, and you can express yourself spontaneously, very fluently and precisely differentiating tones of meaning, even in the most complex situations. Perfect fluency means expressing yourself perfectly, understanding perfectly, and also having a good pronunciation that native speakers will have a hard time guessing whether you are a native or not. But is it really what you need after all? When you want to achieve a complex, broad, and distant goal, there is a great risk of losing your motivation. Primarily, you can experiment by setting smaller, more specialized goals. For many people, the definition of fluency as the perfect domain in all aspects is a very distant and therefore not very practical goal. If you set a very complex and scary goal, it is very likely that your level of motivation will decrease and you end up giving up before you even complete the basic level. You can think of fluency in a different way. The first thing you need to define is what your necessity is. Let me share a personal example with you. Think about what motivates people to travel. Some people are passionate about art, culture, museums. Other people like to travel to go shopping. Other people want to look for romance and adventure. Photography lovers want to find exotic scenery. And a lot of people, myself included, have a huge interest in the local gastronomy. But when I travel internationally, I have a great interest in being able to communicate with local people because I think this is a very interesting part of the trip. On one of my first independent trips, I went to Germany and I had a, this a small kit with a phrase book, a basic dictionary, some audio CDs to learn German. And in a few days, I was able to prepare myself and interact with the most different types of people from students uh, of the same age as me, and after breaking the ice, speaking in German, very basic. Later, of course, we shifted to English and we continued the conversation. But I also had to speak to older people when I would, for example, go to the local market. And these were people who communicated only in German with me. And when I communicated in German with that, of course, I made several grammar, several pronunciation mistakes, but I achieved the most important goal. I, I managed to communicate. I managed to understand others and also to make myself understood. And even today, I have wonderful memories from that time. It was an unforgettable trip. So I'm telling you this story so you can clearly think about what your main objective is. I didn't achieve fluency in German, but I, I managed to fulfill my goal. And what about you? Do you want to interact with local people? Or do you need to read books? Or you want to watch uh, movies without subtitles? Or do you want to listen to music and understand the lyrics? Or do you want to use the foreign language in your work, perhaps? See how each one of these objectives will require emphasis on different aspects, whether in listening or expression or reading. And you need to know where to dedicate your focus. Increase your learning speed by focusing on what is most relevant in your current knowledge building phase. The myth that it takes years or even decades to master a language ends up discouraging anyone thinking of learning a new language. So you must consciously accelerate the speed of your own learning. And this prevents a very common situation that happens with people who choose a language. They roll in a course, they study grammar, they buy books, and without seeing much progress, 
they end up giving up halfway through the journey. In comparison, very few people are dedicated to learning how to learn other languages, how to consciously acquire learning. And the truth is that it can end up being very difficult to learn a language without understanding what are the various factors that influence the progress and the speed of knowledge acquisition. For example, mother tongue and foreign language families, they have an influence in the speed of learning. If your native language is Portuguese, you will need less hours of study to become fluent in Spanish than in Japanese. Language families will determine the number of different elements that you need to learn from the written alphabet to grammatical logic, from the most common words to the basic sounds of that spoken language. And that is why a native Spanish speaker will find it easier to learn Latin family languages such as Portuguese or Italian, or why a native German speaker will find it easier to master Germanic languages like English or Swedish. Put intensity into your studies so that you will learn much faster. And to do this, you will need to prioritize the language and leave other responsibilities aside. Do you know how many hours you need to study per day to master a new language? Some research institutes say that the ideal for a normal learning day would be 4 hours per day of study. Are you dedicating yourself to this intensity? If you dedicate less time in a day, well, you will need more days to achieve the desired fluency. If someone is devoting more productive hours of study than you, well, that person will learn faster. In that case, it is important to increase the intensity of your study. Only then you will accelerate your results. You have to evaluate the importance of the language that you want to learn, and you may find it a good choice to put all the responsibilities aside temporarily. Of course, Time is not the only thing that matters. Someone who studies, let's say, two hours a day with full focus, with the right strategy, that person can learn faster than someone else who studies four hours, but with little concentration. Adjust your expectations. Frustration only appears when there is a disconnection between your expectations and reality. Studying a language and not being able to speak or listen or read or write is a frustration that leads many people to give up halfway. The secret to avoiding this is to adjust your expectations to reality. You must set realistic goals. If you don't become fluent in a few weeks, well, you won't end up frustrated. And to maintain realistic expectations, have a good assessment of the complexity of the language that you are studying. Be clear about the amount of hours that you have available to study and what your motivation is. For example, if you speak Portuguese and if you want to learn Spanish to travel around in South America, you will face a much easier task than if you wanted to learn Japanese to get a job as a director in a company in Tokyo. If you have simpler goals, you will achieve results faster and then you can filter what types of materials you are going to use in your learning. You will make your process more efficient. Understand that total fluency will require more effort and therefore it will consume more time. If you just want to interact with people on a trip, you don't have to be fluent. Just be able to communicate and understand what others are saying. Be careful not to overdo in your studies and try to acquire more fluency than necessary. For example, it is a bad choice to spend hours training the perfect pronunciation of some words when you don't have yet mastered some basic grammar rules such as conjugating verbs. Keep your goal in mind. Learning a lot more than your goal can be a waste of time, especially considering that you probably have little time available. To learn languages faster, do a simulated immersion. Change your consumption of cultural production by pretending that you are in another country. Unfortunately, very few people have the opportunity to travel or spend one full year or even more than that living abroad to immerse themselves in the language. If you have that opportunity, well, take advantage. But if you don't have it, you can simulate an immersion. You can listen to songs or podcasts in your chosen language. You can watch movies and series without subtitles or with subtitles in the language that you're learning. You can read books in the original language. You can subscribe to foreign YouTube channels. Arata Academy, for example, has 
different channels in Portuguese, in English, in Spanish, Italian, and others that we're planning here, the same can be done in the physical world. A really cool example is putting some post-its in the objects that you use the most. You can write the name of that object in another language and use those stickers to identify them. Make arrangements with the people you can communicate with in a foreign language, either speaking, writing emails, or using the phone to exchange messages and audios. In short, do what you can do to maximize your daily contact with the language that you want to learn. You can speed up your language learning when you know what are the most important aspects that you need to master. Each goal has a very specific set of techniques for you to master. That's why I invite you now to visit arata.sc forward slash speak languages to learn more about the special class on the how to learn languages course. And then you can use more efficient learning strategies.